Welcome to the Country Cow Special Winter Edition. We're making an igloo. And by God, it's gonna be the best igloo you've ever seen. If you've ever seen one before. When I first looked at the blueprints for the build, I thought, what the f***? But now, now that it's coming to shape, I really think this is going to be a valuable addition to both Mr and Mrs Jones and the community. The use of natural materials is fantastic, and the use of local suppliers is just inspiring. Although I have to say Mr and Mrs Jones are pretty. Are you going to explain what you're doing, Country Kyle? Building a wall, what does it look like? Can we mop it? Hey, we're going to just make everything better. This is like a lot. Here is Svorn Gorovic. Hello, Svorn. Hello. Um, we brought him in from Russia. Uh, he's a specialist in ice buildings. Uh, he knows all about the way to get them all up so they're structurally sound and so that they look good as well. Um, so, Svorn, uh, what's your plans for the build? Huh? That's fine, could I? That's good. Ah, that's good. Let's test, like, yes, really test, yes. uh, it says uh, we're going to put some ice together to make a wall. Oh. Thanks, thanks, Vaughn. Thanks, Vaughn. Fucking Russians. Here's our uh, wench of the building site. Uh, as you can see, she's female ish. Um, so, as the most uh, feminine of all the builders, she's doing interior design. She's working on the inside, making it all look pretty, making sandwiches uh, to an albeit low standard. As you can see, she's uh, made a real effort here. She's uh, slapped some mud onto the, the cornerstone of the doorway. Um, she's a little bit simple, so uh, I think we're going to leave her to it and then uh, sell her on the market later. <laughs> Bye, Rachel. She doesn't speak English. With the highest levels of snow the UK has seen for 18 years, I say climate change is a load of <laughs> shit. I'm afraid we've got a problem. The enemy. How are you gonna get They're copying our idea. They're building, building the foundations of a fortress. I say we confront them. Let's go. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. We come from the rival fortress. <laughs> and we've come to told you that yours is shit. Yours is shit. Yours is, yours is, yours is, yours is terrible. <laughs> it's an embarrassment to snow fortresses everywhere. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Oh, oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! <laughs> Let's go! White flag! You're <laughs> over the s fortress! Right, I've been sent over for some unknown reason, but apparently you're all s. <laughs> that was the last station of our building! <laughs> We're at war! There's been a skirmish, um, we've lost a bit of wall, as, as you can see, we've lost a bit from here. But this will, this will be met with a fence. This will be revenge. Don't say that, we're not prepared! Desperate times call for desperate measures. We've appointed the new Department of Defence. This is the Minister of Defence, who's going to be in charge of making sure that our building stays as a building and not as a pile of snow. It's going to make sure that everyone that dwells within the settlement is going to stay safe. It's a man of few words, but we think that makes him look more hardcore. And if he's on the telly, is people trying to interview him, what's your plans in the Middle East, and he just stares. It's only going to make people more scared of us. So, what's your thoughts? Fantastic, you see. Now, I don't see how they can possibly come up with a strategist as hardcore as that. It's war. It's war. Things have settled down. Um, I think they're going to go and eat, you know, one of their own. So uh, we've got half an hour just to build up the defences. Um, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at us. 
Yeah, don't point it at them. Don't point it at them, they just want attention for fun. It appears that the bottoms have indeed been brought out. <laughs> On go the heavy artillery. I started it. Kyle? I know it's funny, but what's with the uh, yeah. big dude with the beard and the black coat with standing there on his own? With his hands what was that? His back, a rock? Standing there looking very ominous and. He's the sentinel. <laughs> he's gonna kill you! And he's gonna make it look like an accident! I wouldn't start! <laughs> You're gonna hit him! Lasers, machine guns are gonna go firing out of his arms! He's gonna whoop your ass! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and have an interview with the secret weapon on the other side. In peace. Are you going to kill us? How soon eventually? Today or tomorrow? That's the question. I think we better, I think we better prepare because the apocalypse is coming. He's creeping forwards. He's going to kill us. It's coming around the back. Do you have any ideas how we're going to win this thing, Minister? You know how to make plans in private, right. I can fucking hear their plans. <laughs> <laughs> the plan has backfired <laughs> for a silent minister. Well oh god, reinforcements! Reinforcements! Okay, we may not have the numbers on our side, but we have. They don't. We have something worth fighting for! We have our fortress, our stone. This is our land. They're going to take our snow, but they will never take our freedom! He just moved. Sentinel is picking up huge chunks of the fortress. Oh my god. And he's killing people. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to stop him. <laughs> he's going to kill Richmond! Three of the young women. Guess who's the winner? 